Hey guys, today is Monday and we're going to have a special guest today. We're going to focus on upper body for women. I know I mentioned a lot of video of myself working out and I don't think it's very fair that I sit here and I don't do other people, right? I mean, obviously everybody's at different fitness levels and we're all at home quarantine in place. And best bet for us to do is this showcase what we have. So today we have Karina, special guest. We're going to be doing some body workouts. So pretty much we're hitting, uh, let's say, core first. Um, starting at core first, we're going to do um, push-ups to get warmed up. Then we're going to the weights using the bench. Um, those that have a bench at home can use the thing on the floor, like a mat, or whatever we have, um, kind of showcase the same kind of workouts. Um, so we can start from there. So first thing, Korea, what I want to have you do here is this. Now, we're going to do push-ups on the ground. Now, for you, you can do a modified on your knees, but I'm going to do a full push up. So, what I want you to do is have your hands in front of here, the shoulder apart, elbows are in. I want you to go down all the way and then up, down, and then up. Okay, so I want you to go first. All the way down. Ah. Two. Good. Three. Two, four. Tight. Up. There you go. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to lay on your back. Okay. I want you to put your feet 90 degrees. I want you to have your hands tucked like this. Okay. Elbows are up. And I want you to crunch up to be feet on the ground. Let's go. Crunch four. Good. One, two. Good. Let me straight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Let me straight. Eight, nine, 10. Now, another warm up. I'm going to get on the back and do push ups again. We're going to do about three different sets uh, push up the crunch just to get the body warmed up. Now, you always can do different things. You can do stretching, or in my case, I like to get the heart rate up, get the muscles activated. So, I'm doing push ups and sit that's a combination. I'm going to do half and half. Now, okay, let's see what we got. One, four tight. Yep, two, good. Three, four, good. Ready up, five. Good. Five right. more. Five. Four. Three. Good. Keep going. Two. One. Good. Round. Now, he's round. One. Two. Three. Two. Five. So pretty much we're done with just a warm up exercise. Now we're gonna jump into weight. So first I'm gonna start on the bench. We're doing incline dumbbell press. I'm gonna put the bench at about 45 degrees. Now for those at home that cannot the dumbbell have a bench, you can use a mat on the ground, or what you can do is um, if you have like a table or something you can elevate an incline position, you can do that as well too. So we're gonna do a seat up. Okay. I'm gonna first let me demonstrate the first. I want you to do it, and you're going to go second, okay? So what I want you to do is sit down, elbows up, and I want you to press straight up just like this, okay? So down, elbows in, and then straight up, okay? Your turn. Five pounds look good. Five pounds, we'll try 15. Five is better. Five is the easiest, we'll try 15, okay? Five is too easy. Good. One. Two. Three, slow down a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now everything we're gonna do today is gonna be ten reps. So when I say ten, she stops, and obviously we do everything's before set. So if you want to stand up, I'm gonna show you how to do arms as well too. So I'm gonna see in the flat position. Now, for those at home, you can do standing or you can do sitting in a chair, but I'm going to grab a 15 pound dumbbell. I usually use my legs as leverage. I'm going to kick it up, put it down my head, core straight, and go straight up. One, all the way to 10, okay? So, Karina's going to be, she's going to grab eight pounds, make it easy, but that's okay. Okay, all the way back, that was tight. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Let's go back to the fifteen for the second round. Two, four, five, 
six, seven, good, you got it, eight, nine, ten, good. Now, I'll do the last time. She's going to do eight pounds. The next step, we'll go up to ten pounds. Okay, I know there's a ten there. Oh, no, oh, sit up. There you go. Exercise. From there, we did push ups first, and then we went to our suppressing. So it's good the first two sets, are just kind of get the body warmed up. By the second, third, or fourth set, you start increasing the weight and you really start to feel the tension of the muscle. Oh, okay. Arms are burning. That's why it's called the body of women. It's going to burn today. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Twelve. Do the same thing. No, no. Twelve, twelve, twelve. Can't cheat. Twelve. Good. All the way up. Lock them down. Two. Keep going. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Do something a little bit different. So, Karina, grab me the eight. I'm going to show you how I want this done. Uh, we're going to do um, flat flies. So, what I'm going to do for those again, those that are on the bench at home, it's going to completely fly. We're going to put the bench at a flat position so you can even to the ground. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So, we're going to lean back, put your feet up. All the things you've done before, arch back a little bit. Then you're going to pedal to your side just like this. Stop. And up and touch. One, two, three. Okay, all the way to 10. Now, Karina, after that one, now you can't cheat again. Okay, so I want you to have your hands here on the bench. See, so you strangle five pounds. I want to put your butt over. Now, it's not like this. Use your legs, okay? So I want you to touch shoulders back, drop your hips down, and then up one. Shoulders back, two for tricep dips, okay? Way it's going to work, we're going to do 10 of the flies. We're going to do 15 by weight dips. Start with eights first, can't start with fives. Good. My arms are hurting. There. Arch your back up. Good. Shoulders down. Oh, not yet. Hold on. Up. Shoulders in. Arch your back. Good. To your side. One. Two. Three. Slow down. Set a rest. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. 
Now up. Body here. Hands curl up to your side. Feet 90 degrees. Push your butt back. Butt off. Shoulders back. Elbows in. Now, those are at home. You can use a chair, you can use a couch, you can use the edge of edge of some stairs. Something. One, two, then a little more. Three. Good. Four, four, four. Sorry, slow it down. Slow it down. I know it's burning. But you got to be in all the way 90 degrees and up. All the way 90 degrees and up. Good. Come on. There you go. Not so much the shoulder. Shoulders tucked in. There you go. There we go. So, that's on seven. You got to be speaking more to go. Seven, three more to go. Good. Keep it back. Two. One more. Done. Like jello, right? Yes. My throat hurts. No, eight. You eight. No, you can't cheat, Gabe. I saw it. You got eight pounds. Push it up. Back's always arch. Good. Shoulders down. And good. Two. Slow it down. Slow it down. Three. A little wider. Down. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, good. Ooh. Now you gotta dip it. Same thing. Can't cheat. Good. Body off. Good. Bend those elbows. Toes tucked in. Oh my God. One. Body back. Two. Bend knee. Bend this. Push it three. Good. Come on. So four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. No. Good. Now always do it nice and slow. But I know you're getting tired, that's okay. Always do it nice and slow, you can do it. And remember this, women are always stronger than men. Meaning they can push harder than men. So you can keep pushing hard. Come on, let's go eight. Okay, I'll cut your deal. If you go five, you gotta do 15 dips though. If I do five? If you do five pounds, you have to do 15 dips. No. Okay, five, eight. See, I tried negotiating, she said, no, I, no. I, want, to do, I want to do less. Ooh. Push up, good. Touch it first. Arch your back. Just back here. Good on fly. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Six, seven. Slow it down. Eight, nine. Ten. Good. <sighs> Same scenario. Foot off. Your 90 degrees. Shoulders back. Bend up over here. Good. My dip. All the tricep. No. Lower. You can do it. Lower up. Lower, lower, lower. Good. Mm -hmm. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hold on. Slow, slow down. Shoulders back. Heads back. You can get you on this. Come on, you can do it. Come on, come on. Three, three more good ones. Three more good ones. We're done. Three more good ones. Up. Keep going. Keep going. Good. Done. So that right there includes upper body. Um, so we pretty much did something very easy, which is incline bench. If you don't have an incline bench, you can be flat on the floor, you can the mat. We also did flat fly. So you can do a lot of different combinations. Now we're going to do some move up to Pressing, right? So in this case today, those most of the time don't have a straight bar at home. I have dumbbells, so what I'm gonna do put the bench at 90 degrees. Those don't have a bench at home, you can be against the wall, anything that has a 90 degree elevation, or you can sit on the ground and just do straight dumbbell press. Okay, make sure it's gonna work. So I'll put the bench right to 90 degrees. Now eight pounds. Same thing here. So what I usually do, even though I'm strong, I can pull it up. Always, at the weight is 100 pounds, I can't use my body strength, so I kind of cheat a little bit. Keep my legs up here, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, you start here, out to the side. Make sure you're on the parallel to your body, 180 degrees, and then press all the way up. One, two. Now, as you get with, done with that one, put the eights down. You're gonna pick up your fives. Together, you're gonna do front raise, just like this. Now, it's not here, don't wing it here, 
straight to eye level, okay? So 10 each. There's nothing okay. lighter, it's gonna look for it. Two and a half. <laughs> it's a two and a half. Okay. No, eight. See, always, always trying to cheat. Yeah. I mean, eight's right there. Okay. Okay, put it on your leg here. <clears throat> there you go. Okay, now always put your arms up here. No, 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 up here, nine degrees. Shoulders back, now look. Up here, out to nine degrees, right there. Now stop. So your elbows are at 180 degrees. Wrist should be neutral. Push straight up like an arrow. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Like that. There you go. One. Down. Control the negative. Uh, uh, uh. Control the negative. Control the negative. Control, control, control. Now up. Most of everybody will always want to go faster, finish faster, but if not working the muscle, it doesn't matter. Good. Keep going. Going. One more. Good. Now, the whole purpose of me doing that was to correct her form because she wanted to go here and she, when she went down, she wanted to grab force and push it up. Always want things control in a controlled motion, right? You want to feel the muscle actually working and not the scoping motion of doing it if you're done, okay? So you got to stand up. Our elbow by your side, fingers by your side, like this. Raise it to eye level. One. Two, a little higher, a little higher. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Back to the eights. That same thing. Oh, see how you're resting here? Never resting on your shoulders here. Always kick it up so it's here, right? So once it's at 90 degrees, which is here, the other one up, good, but all the way back. Now open to 180 degrees, which is there. Now, see how you're doing this? You always have it up here. First, starting, starting, good. Now press straight up. <laughs> all the way up, all the way up. Two. That's all, there you go, that's one. Can't count, that's two. <laughs> Only kind of good ones, two. <laughs> up, let's go, come on, you got it, let's go. Four. Don't give up, don't give up. Five, six, seven, slow it down. Okay, anyway. Okay, put the ace down, grab the fives. Oh, pop up from steel. Here. Now. Come on. Six. There you go. And done. Good. Now stand up, front raise. And I need a break afterwards. <laughs> One, two, three, four. My arms are burning. Five, six, seven, eight. One more. Oh. Ten. Good. Okay. Oh, my arms are burning. Now we're gonna leave right now. It's over time. You time yourself. Now at home, you time yourself, but you give you the thirty second rest. Some water. Now, the reason why she's kind of out of breath for those out there is that um, the, the point of having a rest period between each set is that it allows your body to recover more. So, long rest period, let's say you're going to do a 90 minute, I'm sorry, 90 second rest, rest period, your body needs to fully recover. So, long rest period, the better recovery. So, for those out there that were heavy, obviously, two or three minute rest is really great. Um, obviously, anything like six seconds or below, then you have less time to recover. So the whole purpose of rest period is to recover your body so you can perform the exercise better. Now, because it constrains the time of the video, um, right now she's going a little bit faster, but right now she needs a break. So if you know, I'm timing her right now, she almost 45 seconds to a break. I'm gonna give her another 15 seconds, fully recovering. We're gonna keep complete the last two exercises and we move forward from there. So 10 more seconds. 20? No, 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 six. 30? Five. Four, okay. three, two, one. Let's go. It's still the fives. Yeah, pop up on fives. Yeah, arms all the way up. Nope, nope, nope. Up. Good. Stop. Stop. Good. Control here. Now up. Back right there. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, good, nine, 
and 10. Good. Now front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now before you go, we'll do another rest of 30 seconds. 45. 45 seconds, okay? She's a good negotiator, so 45 seconds, okay? Now, what's good about this is that um, sometimes when we don't access, like we do in a case like here where we're sheltering in place, we're at home, we don't have access to a cardio machine. So, no treadmill, let's say you can't walk the dog, but doing uh, repetitions that are, let's say, less rest periods will elevate your heart so that we actually burn more calories. And if you're, let's say, have access to cardio and we're not in a situation shelter in place, you can do different things. You can have long rest periods because you do cardio. But in cases like this, rest periods are less because we don't want to burn a max amount of calories, increasing the heart rate. So this information out there for you guys. Okay, 45 seconds are up. Oh, I need to tie my hair though. <laughs> Doesn't count. Let's go. Last one. Arms open. Nope. It's here. Good. Now all the way up. Touch one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now front raise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Ten. Now keep standing. Now, for those out there who are curious, um, make it very simple for you. The part of front raise is the anterior part of the deltoid, obviously the secondary muscles, of course. The part of the pressing is in the posterior delt, of course, are all the secondary muscles. But keep it very simple for yourself. There's some demos you can have at home. So, if it's on the ground, we move to the next step. I'll show you this one I'm going to work, okay? Now, what you're going to do for this exercise, <clears throat> you're going to do, now, for those that have a bench at home, you can do standing, right? So you do lateral raise just like this. But if you notice, my shoulders back here. I'm not leaning forward and I'm not out any momentum. Keep your body straight, shoulders back, and almost, let's say, not parallel to your body, but about, uh, about 45 degrees. But if you notice, my elbow drops. I'm not like this, winging it. They're straight up. Now, in her case, she's five pounds. and five pounds are too heavy, um, do body weight. If you have two pounds, that's fine. And for example, uh, five pounds is, is, is too light, and when you go up, but you don't have anything, you can do higher reps. If I was doing 10 reps, okay. I think it don't define, so allow her raise seated. You're gonna pick your eight pounders, and what you're gonna do is this, something a little bit different. One hand will go at 90 degrees, right, for static hold, and then this one's gonna curl. One, two, three, all the way to eight. After eight, 90 degrees of static hold, then eight to this side. Now, in most cases, um, the reason why you can do also hammer curls too at the same time, but in this case, um, I know she's done hammer curls before, so I'm going to give her something as a variation to allow the body to adapt to different change. You obviously can do hammer curls to death, curls like this, doesn't matter, but having different variation or what well, I consider time retention, static hold to curling is always the best bet as well. So let's go five first laterals, and we're going to do static hold standing for eight pounds. Back, drop them by your side here. Good. Now, arm up, don't lock your elbow. Relax your elbow. Good. Now, up like that. One, two, three, your shoulders back. Four, five, little okay. half. Six, seven, eight, okay. nine, ten. Good. Now, standing. Go. That's for the viewers. For you, you can do dumbbells. But remember, one is going to be held at 90 degrees. Stand up. Stand up. So, can cheat that way. One has to be held here, and one's going to be hold here. That we throw eight times. I was a hammer. Look, this one here, that one, hammer. Go all the way down. Three, don't swing it. Four, stretch the bicep, stretch, stretch, stretch. There you go. Seven, eight, go down, don't swing it. Nine, keep going. Good, now this side. One, all the way down, all the way down, two, all the way down, three, stretch it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Ten. Good. Rest for forty-five seconds. You mean the minute? Forty-five seconds is good. Minute thirty seconds. So you're all trying to negotiate, but the purpose of this keep my heart rate going, keep you guys motivated out there that are listening live. I really appreciate those who are attending. Stay tuned to the end. But the main thing about this was keep heart rate going and just feel good. And the reason why I knew up by today is because it's easy to do legs, glutes, lunges. Uh, you guys see a lot of that on social media. And I want to do something a little bit different today. And obviously, maybe tomorrow, uh, I'll talk to Karina and see if she wants to. We do legs tomorrow as another variation for you guys out there. You just a dumbbell. It's just most of the time, shelter in place, don't have a big room uh, with us. We do have uh, racks. So I can do some squats, I can do some deadlifts. But for those who are out there, we do dumbbells. So let's go louder ways to your side. Time is up. 45 seconds. Go higher. Ten. Good. Enough. Standing. No other ones. Then try and shoot again. All the way down. Locked up. Two. Don't swing. Don't swing. Lock it down. Eight. Good. The side. All the way down. Okay. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the reason why I'm kind of holding my hand at the base of her elbow is if I don't, the tendency would be to do this. Right? So if you notice, instead of working bicep, you much you're doing just on your shoulder. The object is okay, what well, down, what up, that's one. The real objective is to go down, elongating your bicep, and contracting your bicep, elongating and contracting. So in her case, I put my arm there so that way it doesn't do this. Because it's easy to do this. Right? So the whole purpose of this too is to teach her how to do proper movement. Even though eight pounds may be heavy, which in her case is not, I know that from experience, but most of the time being is that you want to track muscle, not just to do it just to get it done. Let's go. Get louder and stop. Now, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now stand up. Hey, those are five. You know what it's like. Okay, so relax your shoulder now. One. Slow down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, side. One, two, all the way down, all the way down. That's good. Three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good. Also, one thing too, as a personal trainer and a fitness professional, I'm always like to kind of push my clients where it's not, um, unless as long as it's safe. So if it's safe, it's fine. If it's not safe, don't do it. So let's say if I gave her 15 pounds of curling, that probably is way too heavy. Eight pounds, ten pounds if we had it, we don't have it. Would be probably the best efficient, but we don't. So. The objective is if I know she can, based upon the rep count she's doing, I know she can do it eight pounds. Now, because she's trying to get it done, I correct the proper form. Again, if I give her 15 pounds, obviously the form would be lacking. Eight pounds, I know she can do. And again, as a trainer, I want to at least let my clients be push a little harder. It means that not the point where you're just pretty much going to pass out, but where you can just push it just a little more hard because push it just a little harder will like actually get better versus not being better at all. So objective is to get stronger, get healthier, feel better, right? So as you get stronger, inherently she will feel better. It kind of go hand in hand with both. Let's go. Last one. I know she's getting tired. Look, down, good, now up. One, two, 
I took the lot off. I had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Done. Eight. One, two. No swinging. No swinging. Three. By his side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. Let me see the eights. Okay. Now we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple last things here. Now for those that are at home, you can do standing, um, you can do seated, uh, but in this case we're gonna do an upright row using dumbbells. I said to give me four. Um, even though we have straight bars, I want to use dumbbells. It's gonna be the best benefit for you guys out there, depending on what you have available. I probably will shoot videos later on about how to do it using a straight bar. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is so that way you know we're gonna shoulders forward and push shoulders back. For most people, 98% uh, is going to be a very difficult exercise doing the first time, but if you don't do it, you cannot get better. That's the idea here. So, hands by your side, shoulders back. Now, when I pull, I can elbow lift my chest and my elbows are up. 99% of people are going to do this. One, two, three. Okay, if you notice, it's improper form. Part of this muscle is to hit the rear delts and at the same time the trap as well, but you're going to pull, elbows up, and stop right here. If you notice, they're not fast, it's controlled. So not here, then up, right and then you start doing this, it's all the way up, okay? So what I want you to do is you're gonna grab five pounds, let's start with that one, okay? So hands by your side again, elbows are up like this. There you go. go all the way down, and up, 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 up. So, so hold on, hold on, stop right there. See how elbows not parallel? So she's actually doing this. It needs to be almost where you guys can see the camera up here. So elbows are actually So drop this one down first. You just demonstrate this one. Arms will be up. Drop the trap down. Up like this. It's down and then up. The trick of this one though is if you if you just do this, you have to bait your trap first, right? So it looks like that. Versus I look at my chest. I push my shoulders back. Elbows are parallel to my body. Would you try it? Just like that. There you go. It's better. Good. Now, put the fives down. I'm going to show you a different way. So, earlier I showed you doing hammer curls. So obviously, hammer curls, you work your bicep in this way. Now, what I'm going to do is you're going to do bicep curls. So, if you notice, I rotate my wrist outward. So, palms are down. I'm going to go along it here, then up. So, she's going to grab eight pounds. This time, no, not going to be a static hold, but it's going to be same as time at the same time. So, one, two, all the way to ten, okay? Look up, can't cheat. There. One. Slow it down. Another race. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. Done. So it's funny, eight pounds are very easy for me. This one, the other one's kind of whole. Kind of, kind of harder. But the reason why it's harder is because you're doing a hold. So back to five. Same thing, a right brothers. See, shout out to you doing the dressing here. You always put it to your side. There you go. Now you're ready for that second point. All the way down, all the way down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, that one. I pull up. One, two, three. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we almost kept the other one. for a day ago. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now curls. One, two, all the way down. Three, four, five, six, almost there. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. I'm going to do a 45 second rest. Now, at the same time, we're working out in any setting. Always have some water close by. Sometimes get very dehydrated. It's good to hydrate the body. Um, so, always get some water close by yourself. And you're going to need it. Uh, she's taking a break. She's getting some water. It's really, really good. The body is 6% water. So, the more water you have in your body, the better it's going to be for your overall. Three more seconds, I know. Last thing. You need 45 more seconds? No. 50? No. 60? No. Okay, fine, a minute. No. A minute and 30. Now you get 10 more seconds left. She doesn't know what she has to store for her next. I have something very special coming up after this. Very special. Two more seconds, one more second time. Let's go. Right. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, sorry, here. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now curls all the way down, all the way up. No, guys, all the way down, all the way up. One, two, three. Slow it down, slow it down. Four. All the way down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, in this case, you're going to rest one minute. I'm going to switch the things around a little bit because we're going to do some last minute cardio. So, um, early in the beginning, we did crunches, we did push to get warmed up, and now we're going to end it with using a Tabata. So, obviously, with Tabata, you try it about four minutes. It's usually 20 seconds of uh, something's high intensity, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds to 10 seconds, all right? In our case, we're gonna use the air bike. You probably see in the back, if you can. I'm um, earlier in the front. For those at home, um, you can do run in place. You can do this for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. Things that can get your body and heart rate elevated that you don't have access to any cardio machines, but body weight is still always efficient. So those at home, uh, do run in place for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. Now in her case, I'm gonna time for 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. We're gonna do six rounds of that. So if you count up uh, time, it's about almost two minutes, 20 seconds. So give me one second, I'm gonna switch things around and we're gonna get the air back ready. Okay, we're back. So again, those that are don't have an air bike like we have here, you can run in place, but do something where it's 20 seconds of high intensity, 10 seconds of rest, try to do four minutes. Uh, it can be burpees, run in place, whatever you guys have at that time. Uh, I'm just gonna use the air bike for today, of course. Okay, so get the air bike going, I see you go. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Got a spot for 20 seconds. Rest 10 seconds. 
We said enough, enough. We said okay, one, two, let's go. Twenty seconds. Nine, ten. something you always gonna learn something i never say mistakes so thanks again for tuning in i'll see you guys soon